Hey, it's your girl Chimes. Today I'm coming at you with a DIY video. We're gonna be mixing it up. We're gonna be changing it up. I reviewed the Toddy Wonderful a couple videos ago, and I was like, hey guys, it just feels like those nice soft blankets. Like literally, you can make a DIY. <gasps> Next video, should I make a DIY Tati Beauty Blendiful? Comment down below. And y'all were like, yeah, chap, do a DIY. And now I'm gonna be making my own Tati Beauty Blendiful. Hashtag not sports. <laughs> of course it's not. So now I'm here today. I got all the materials from my local craft store. Hashtag not spots, okay? Of course it's not. We're gonna see if it's actually worth it and if I can actually create a blendiful. So if you wanna see me fail or succeed, if you wanna see if this is cost effective and you don't have to buy your own Tati Blendiful, Tati Beauty Blendiful, blendiful okay? If you don't have, to, if you know, what? If you want to know if you don't have to buy this and you could just go to your own craft store and create it yourself, then let's get started. Guys, we professional out here. We got two cameras. Number one, number two. Number one, number two. Professional. Anyway, let's go to camera number two. Check this out. I got the Top of Beauty sponge right here. What I want to do is I want to kind of like trace it out and examine this so like feeling it real quick it's the same texture on both sides i got enough fabric for that and then i also need the ribbon like this right here which hey i got it yeah it's a little messy because i used it hello what i need it to do is i need it to be able to flip on both sides what i realized before is that it has a tiny little flap here so i gotta make that little flap too so i already threaded some thread here this is just gray thread that i think is gonna be fine because it's gonna go on the inside this took me like maybe a whole 12 minutes to thread in because I suck at doing domesticated things. I got some of this fabric here. So I bought two different sizes, but I think this one is going to probably match the best as far as width. And then guys, the fabric, are you ready for this? Okay, it's a little linty right now. Look at this fabric, but this is the closest I could get. Now this freaking texture right here, I feel like is so similar to the freaking sponge here. And then the other side is just more like a regular fleece blanket situation. I do have a lint roller because it's linting everywhere so much. Look at all this. Oh my gosh. And then I got this stuff called new foam. So you could use this on like seat cushions and stuff. So I bought that, but that's gonna go on the inside. I feel like it's a little too thick, but we're gonna see. I might have to trim it down. What I wanna do first is I wanna get the shape. So I have the fabric, awesome, great. Let me get some of this lint off real quick. Oh gosh, this is terrible. This is why I don't do domesticated things. What I'm thinking is I'm probably gonna have to make it just a little bit wider so I can make a seam on the inside. I'm gonna trace it here. This is where I'm gonna make my cut. I'm an artist, guys. We got one shape down. Look how it looks. It's like, wow. Oh my God. I'm gonna trace another one. <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna take the new foam and also trace it again. By the way, I just wanna let you guys know that one half a yard of this fabric is $14.99. Kill me. I mean, don't do that. Wow. Oh, you know what I forgot? The little flaps. I gotta do little flaps. Okay, hang on a second. So I got the shape. They look like little irons. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, so what I wanna do is get the little flaps, the little, little tiny flaps for like, you know, where we're gonna put the ribbon. Does it have to be that big? I don't know. Oh no, they're not the same height. We're gonna get through this. I'm gonna just freehand it here. Perfect. Oh my gosh, we're the best. Let's cut this out. I got some eyebrow scissors. I'm just gonna be using it for the fabric. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get the overall shape cut out so I don't have to keep dragging like the bulk of the fabric out. So that's one piece. This thing lints like crazy. Let's cut the rest of this out. All right, one shape down, another shape to go. Let's see how it looks. Oh my God. Ah! Okay, I'm so excited. All right, separate this from the bulk of the fabric first. Oh no, look how stupid this looks. Oh God. Ugh. We freaking did it. They look stupid, but I think they're gonna be a-okay. All right, we have the two shapes down now. Yeah, boy. Next, I'm gonna put these to the side for right now because I wanna measure out my foam piece on the inside, which is right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna cut a square out of it just so it could all fit into frame. I don't need this whole thing. 
this is what it is. It's pretty dense. It's like an inch thick, which I don't think I need that much thickness in there, but we're gonna freaking find out. Let's see if I could actually cut it. Oh, geez. Jeez Louise. If I keep complaining, it's because I'm complaining. So I got a square out of it. That piece was also $12.99, so there you go. I feel like these are like two different thicknesses. I think what I want to do is just like maybe unlayer them to make them not as thick. But I want to make it a little bit thicker just to give it a more cushion maybe. Tati, we're freaking coming for your brand. So here, I'm gonna take the first layer off. So mm, let me take one more layer off. All right, let's see. This is pretty good. Okay, I'm happy with this. So I have a big enough square where now I'm just gonna trace it. What a good shape. And I only need to cut it out one time. This might be the death of me. Oh no, this is so much easier to cut now that it's not so thick with two C's. Oh my goodness, we're one step closer to the edge and I'm about to, nope, blend it full, coming for your brand. All right, Um, so I'm almost done with the mise en place of this. Now what I wanna do is I just wanna get my ribbon ready. So got my ribbon here. This one is a five eighths. Uh, as far as the width goes. So what I noticed about this here too is that it was folded just a little bit. So I'm gonna do just a tiny bit extra on the edges here. So take it right there to right here, snip. Oh yeah. All right, cool. Now we got our pieces together. Ah, I'm so ready. Okay, this is the inside here. I should be able to just kind of fold it and put it inside, so it should be okay. This one right here, this fluffy part is gonna be the outside of it, even though it's like kind of linty. And then the smoother part is gonna be the inside where we have all of our markings. Oh my gosh, this looks like a train wreck. <laughs> all right, so let's just give it a little bit of that. Okay, we're gonna start sewing. So I already have my needle pre-threaded. Like I said, it took me forever. I'm trash. I'm gonna do a knot at the end here. And all I do is do a little bit of that. Take the thread, wrap it around my finger like so, and then just twist. And you got a knot, wow. Oh, I'm so scared. All right, all right, we're in. Oh, oh, no, man. Okay, so my knot wasn't big enough, so we're gonna make a bigger knot. One eternity later. Okay, we have a bigger knot now. You could be, be. No turning back now, BB. Yeah, okay, this is good. So we're just gonna start sewing, I guess. My technique is I'm just gonna wrap it around so I create like that good seam. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna go like this, bring it around town. Oh man, it's not, it's not leveling up. Oh, hey, my thread's stuck. How do I do this? Hello? Help, thread gods, help. I'm getting stressed out. Okay. <laughs> this is why we don't thread our needles with that much thread. Oh, now I'm paying the price. Oh my God. Okay, so we're just gonna keep doing that. All right, so I made my knot here, so it's not gonna come loose. Let's look at it so far. Look at that seam. It's like, oh, it's like nothing ever happened. Let me just make a knot again. Another knot on the end of this thread so we don't waste anything. We got a knot, y'all. So I'm gonna start sewing from right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew as much as I can probably up to like this point right here and I'm gonna stuff the insert on the inside hopefully we got enough thread for that I think we're at that point now so and I know I gotta sew it on the inside but I need to get this guy in here like that so we're gonna stuff the foam the new foam inside here and hopefully this will give it a more taunt shape Let's stuff it in a little tight fitting me when I put on my leggings. <laughs> Feeling the thickness on it. Mine's just a tiny bit looser, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so now I just got one flap left on this side. This one looking like a little nub, but it's gonna be perfect, so. So what I did to kind of seam it on this side here is just I went on the inside of the fabric on each side, so I rotated, so the string coming through is on that side, and I've looped it onto the other side, so I'm putting it through here, like that, pulling it through, and then coming back, going in through the other way. Yo, dog, check this out, bro. I made a freaking 
Splendafall. So let me get a little knot in here, but also make it like unnoticeable, undetectable. I'm gonna cut it here because I'm pretty much done with all the seaming. I'm gonna do my knots here. So we got the same color thread on here. Boom. All right, let me get a little bit of this fluff off here. I don't know what the fluff that is. Look at her! Ah! Can you even? Can you just even? So I noticed right here, there's a little seam there. So I guess when I get this on there, it's gonna do that. I feel like this strip isn't long enough just because my blend of flow, I feel like it's just a little bit wider. She's a little bit thicker, but I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that, right? So sorry, ribbon, I'll use it for something else. But what I wanna do is just get it just a tiny bit longer. I'm gonna fold the ends of the ribbon so that they're like seamless here, so they're not fraying like that. And there you go. I need more thread, which means I'm gonna cry, but also means I can go in with black thread now because we're gonna use it for these guys. Please watch me as I struggle to put thread into my needle. Oh, oh, I did it like that. I just did it so easy. Oh my gosh, I'm literally the best person in the world. So I'm gonna use just this amount. I think it's perfect. So now we got a knot. Gonna go in and just, oh no. So I'm gonna just fold this ever so slightly. All right. Can get my needle, needle through there. Oh no, this don't look right. We're gonna have to make a new knot. Trial and error, boys and girls. Hashtag love wins. Seven hours later. Okay, so we're gonna fold the edge and put it on the edge of the nub here. So the edge of the ribbon is gonna get folded like that and sew it in. Once we're done, we're gonna like flip it over and it's gonna be like that. I'm just gonna cut off the thread now. Then get my little pea-sized fingers in here and go make a knot. One side down, now we're gonna do the other side here. And I'm gonna cut off the excess later because I had a hard time with this side right here, just getting that little tiny flap. So I'm gonna make it just a little more taut here, even though this one's like a little more loose on the original, but I'm gonna do it like this anyway because this is my blendful, my little puff. <gasps> That's the name. <laughs> I've already come up with the name. It's called my little puff. My little puffy, my little. Okay, I think I got enough passes here, so I'm gonna cut the thread off now and make my knot here so it doesn't unravel itself. Y'all, I don't know any proper technique when it comes to sewing, so you can leave your hate comments down below. There we go. Check it out. Let me get a little bit of this excess off just to clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna take off the excess on this here too. So I don't want that showing up. All right, here we are. So give it a nice, nice little clean and then we're gonna flip it. Look at this. Are you ready to party or what? So she looking a little handmaid's tale right now. I know, okay. Oh my God. Stupid! Oh man. Okay, hang on. Let me check out the first design. My nubs are a little big <laughs> in comparison. You know what? It is what it is at this point. This is it. I made my own blendful. Can you tell the difference? Which one's which? So the real test now is Will it blend? Can it blend? So let me clear the space. We're gonna take some makeup, okay? The Kosa's concealer. So I'm gonna take a little bit and put it on the back of my hand here, like that. Let's just put a little bit more. I'm gonna use one side here with the Blendiful. It's already been used, so she's pre-gamed. So we're gonna blend her. So as you can see with the Blendiful, nice, easy, seamless. Now we have this side here. We're gonna go in with the Chabaful, my little blender. Here we go. What's good? Ah, I fucking did it, I blended all. Oh my God. So this is it, this is it. This is the final product right here. Look at this. It's not perfect. It's not beautiful. It's not Blendiful, but it's my little blender. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. Tati, hire me beach because look at what I did. On a scale of one to 10, I think I did like a six out of 10. There's a likeness, okay? There's a likeness in between the two. Like texture wise, I feel like this is just a little more plush than this guy here. Density wise, this feels like an actual power puff. It feels like there's like actual like denser 
but thin foam in here. Whereas this, it feels like there is a lot going on. Feels nice though, and it blends. I will give you all an update to see if I actually like use this, if it works really well and stuff, how it cleans and stuff. Reason why I use that new foam is because you can actually use it for outdoor cushions. And this stuff, you're gonna need to use it, use water and rinse it and things like that. So I'm gonna let you know if this will start to like lint off for the most part, because I did the seam. I don't think it's gonna lint anymore, but I'm just so proud of what I did. Guys, I definitely recommend you try it. Even though I was very stressed out, like majority of the time. When we get full. Okay. Frustrated. I recommend you try it because I think it's pretty cool. Is it worth it to make one? No, it is not. It is not worth it. So have I achieved greatness? Yes. I have made my own blendiful look at her. I will say that she is a lot more plush than the regular one here, but for the most part, she's not linting. Yeah, it looks janky, but like it did the thing, okay? It blended out my concealer on my hand, just like the blendiful did. It has like a similar texture to it. I think if I washed it, it probably like calmed down a little bit. Now, do I recommend you guys make it? No, because I was very stressed out the whole time. And if you're a Sagittarius or if you're impatient or if you're not crafty, I'm trash. Then you will get frustrated because I'm not crafty by any means and stuff. I mean, I could do what I look, okay? I have the patience for that. But making something like this, absolutely not. I have no patience at all. Let me know if you guys find better materials because this is the closest I could do at the fabric store. So anyway, if you like this video, if you like this DIY, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me on all these social medias down below right here. And dig dig, hit the notification bell because your girl made new videos every Friday. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or what you like to see next. As always, thank you for watching. Bye. If you don't have to buy this and you just, uh, and you could just, uh, fabric. Fabric's hard to cut, dude. If only could fold. I'm getting frustrated. Subscribe down below if I'm a good uh, DIY channel.